Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel with another tutorial on basic tips on how to service my brand new Vitachi Pioneer 125cc. As mentioned before you guys in all our videos when we do tutorials, the fundamentals basically on all the models are the same. What is some differences? So we have Adam here today. Say what's up Adam. What's up? And uh, we're going to start with uh, the oil change. Go ahead Adam. So basically what you want to do is grab a 17 millimeter socket and a socket wrench and it's the only 17 millimeter bolt that's straight up and down. Don't touch the other one. It's for the timing chain. And then what you do is you loosen it up and just drain the oil. Okay, so how much oil does it take? Usually about a quart, maybe less. Just right. depends on what the dip six tells you. Okay, and how frequently would you recommend for customers to change their oil? Um, about every like I don't know, eight hours, two, three hours. Okay, depending. it depends on the conditions, the heat, where they're riding it, correct? Right. Yeah, because they, they are air cold and part of the cooling process of these engines, you guys. It's a good oil. We always recommend using a very high grade oil. I mean, whether it's Lucas or Bell Ray, this is a 1040 SAE, non synthetic, or you can use semi synthetic. Now, when it's brand new, it's called a break in period, right? Right. So, how soon would you say they should be changing their oil? So first, after you build it and run it for the first few hours, it's like after like two or three hours to change it, change the spark plug, fuel filter, check your tire pressures, adjust your chains, make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay, and then uh, we also recommend using a good chain wax. What's the chain wax that we use here? It is a... There you guys go. This is a nice chain wax you guys can use. Always remember, servicing your chain, it goes beyond just adjusting it or washing it down. Should also wax it up there. All right, let's go start with the spark plug too. Where's that spark plug? What are we gonna be using? So the spark plug is right here, right in front of the motor. Just pull that off. It takes a 5 8 or 16 millimeter. We like to use an extension so we don't bust our fingers. You stick it in there. And then what you do is you just loosen it. And this one's got a little magnet on it so you don't have to, you don't drop it and hit the electrode. You're talking about the socket itself. Yeah. And what size is that socket? To 16 or a 5 8. All right. So 16 millimeter or 5 8. See, guys? there's the magnet. All right. And that's a basic Chinese uh, spark plug that comes from the fact we always, we always recommend uh, upgrading with an NGK. NGK is our choice. There's other good brands out there, but we like using the NGK. And which one is this? The C CR7 HSA. Okay, so CR7 HSA. A lot of these, you guys, are pre-gapped, so all you do is plug and play. All right, let's move on to the next step here, Adam. So next step is uh, check your cotter pins and make sure your nuts are tight on the axles. Okay, all right, that's uh, important to do from time to time. And make sure that uh, you do that here on the front. Let's go move over to the front area. So you want to check your cotter pins in the front as well. They're also going to be checking their hubs, right? Shaking the wheel here Everything. a little bit. Why don't you sh demonstrate what you do here. So basically what I do is I shake it, see if there's any looseness. There's a little bit of looseness in it. You should anyways uh, just tight, make sure everything's tight. Okay, so we're going to go here and check out the front here. What would they tighten up here? So the control would, arms, right? Yeah, control arms here. And then your shock mounts, and then make sure the uh, spindle part, which is in two pieces. Okay, all right, on both sides over here. And then they got the, uh, the tie rods over there to adjust their alignment, right? Right. All right, so there's no, there's no uh, camber adjustment, you guys, but there is a toe adjustment, so you can toe it in there a little bit as needed. Make sure the alignment is always just right. You're gonna have to adjust it accordingly. How about the, uh, the shocks? You're gonna check the shock mounts, right? Right. And traditionally, too, when you do that full service, you guys, there is a fuel filter here, right? Right. So it's right here. You put like some, uh, some sort of clamp on here, and then you just replace it. Okay, it's always good to change uh, your fuel filter, you guys. And what else? So what's on this side here? We notice a lot of customers will ask us, you know, what's on the left side? If you're sitting on the ATV, you know, what is this here? This little cap here? What is that? This is... This cap is just for timing. You don't pour any oil or anything in it. This is also to hold the uh, stator still. You re remove this and it's a 14 millimeter socket. Okay. And then uh, this is just for the chain cover here and this is your starter area. Okay, now you mentioned earlier when they uh, do an oil change, right? It takes a 17 millimeter. If you're sitting on the ATV, you guys, it's that vertical bolt over here on the other side. Now this one here is angled 
and it's been mentioned numerous times in our other service videos because a lot of these engines the same that's how i say it, the fundamentals are the same this is that one you don't want to touch right over here right that's that right. angled one right unless you're replacing the head this and judge. okay yeah but you know for us beginners out there they don't want to mess with that just change the oil where we mentioned to change the oil let's go on here to the back we notice it has the rear parking brake feature the pioneer 125 nice feature to have so we're going to you know check the caliper make sure that the caliper is nice and tight on there because you guys sometimes you know if you're using it depending how you use it it's just part of regular maintenance making sure nice nice and tight when you're out off-roading you guys hitting the sand or the dirt these take a lot of abuse and it's huge amount of vibration now to adjust the chain i notice this here can come off right here and what what bolts are they going to be loosening here they're going to be loosening the, the two here two here and then you're just going to do the nut with the bolt here and then uh, once you get this removed it's the same way on bolts and top and bottom okay all right so these jam nuts over here these will be loosened the outside and then uh, the inner one over here and then allows you to actually adjust the chain as, as needed right? right and it's usually best too as well to have the rear on a jack so it moves freely the carrier right like here. right here or somewhere on the frame up there okay all right, so this, this uh, what it does, you guys, you should lift it up in the rear end. It's a lot easier to adjust your chain when you do it that way. So keep that in mind. And also, you want to check your axle nuts over here on both sides. Now, this is covering up on this side, but you want to check those axle nuts, correct? Correct. All right, that would be a, a service area you want to inspect, you guys. Also, we want to make you guys aware is when you're setting it up on your own, and even some dealers, I noticed, they're not greasing the splines. Now when you do receive these you guys this particular model and a few other models out there and some of the tau tows as well when the wheels the wheels will come you inflate the tires right and then you slide them on there's splines on here as well as on the hub over here you have to grease the splines correct correct and why do they want to do that just to keep the uh the splines nice and clean okay make sure that there's no play in so it's it's uh in. less wear then right right so you guys Keep in mind, these are hard use solid rear axles, so you have to grease those splines, you guys, at home before you put on that uh, rear wheel on it. Any other tips we can throw? How, how about checking the muffler the, and uh, the exhaust flange, etc.? Yeah, so basically you want to just uh, make sure that's tight and then the two in the front of the motor. Okay, and then uh, up here around the motor area. Yeah, Do you recommend using like Loctite from time to time if necessary? Because sometimes it's not necessary even. Right, uh, it's just uh, use a lot of blue Loctite. Don't use red unless it's going to be for heat. Okay. So. All right, let's lower this down here a little bit, and we can uh, also look at the handlebars, you guys. You guys should inspect your handlebars as well. Make sure all the safety features are working properly, as advertised. Again, you know, it's a these vehicles do wear. They're fantastic, great values. The Pioneer by Vitachi 125. This competes with the Jet 9, with the Tau Cheetah. It's an excellent value, beginner's ATV. It's a 125 fully automatic, single cylinder, air cooled. This does have the uh, lanyard up here, you guys. Nice safety feature, has that speed restrictor for the thumb throttle. This is that rear parking brake I was uh, mentioning, you guys. It's a nice feature they're adding on a lot of the ATVs now, Vitachi, and Tau Tau's doing that too as well. And uh, we do have the remote uh, kill right here. And uh, why don't you give it a start here so our audience can hear it. Again, it's fully automatic, you guys, with reverse. Looks like it has the indicator lights there, whether it's a neutral. Do you have the spark? I don't think you have the spark plug in. That's why it's not going to start. So you guys, we were going to start it up here for you, just so you guys can hear it. But uh, again, make sure when you are assembling your ATV, you go through the entire process and uh, put it together properly. Make sure that everything is nice and tight. There you go. That's how fast Adam is. Now, we've done a video on this particular model. If you guys want to watch our video, I could drop ship any one of these to you guys if you want. If you guys are out of the area, assembly will be required. Hopefully, these videos help you with your thought process on doing the assembly and what's involved again instructions are not included on any of these so keep that in mind so again it has the all those safety features parents are looking for it has the safety lanyard that's the speed limiter restrictor for the thumb throttle and it has that parental remote over here and this side so 
four stroke electric start with reverse you guys this is the Vitachi Pioneer 125 CC with the fundamentals and basic tutorial for beginners on servicing your brand new ATV oh also before we go you guys this is your fill area correct once you take out that uh, dipstick and show our audience what that's all about that's where you're gonna fill the oil also you're gonna check it it should be here at that top line of the hash mark you guys that's when it, that's what it means when it's full it takes just shy of a quart of oil thank you Adam for your help with this video this tutorial for our beginners out there that just purchased these and then I do want to mention one thing yes come on this side please and please do not touch this unless you're uh, actually getting in here to replace a little clutch in here okay this is just to help uh, keep it adjusted so do not touch this it will leak oil out there you go you guys there's another tip there from Adams for you beginners out there so like comment and subscribe you guys hope all is well and we'll catch you on the next video thanks Adam yeah no problem